Pig Pen Ben. He raises pigs, breeds pigs, sells pigs, butchers pigs, eats pigs, sleeps with pigs. Pig Pen Ben is what we like to call a ham sexual. Or maybe that's just what I call him. He's got a lot of land. Well, his family does, and he's on it. Been on it for 40 years. Won't leave. Too many pigs. His dilapidated matchbox of a house is a good ways down his muddy driveway. I don't know why it's muddy all the time, since it doesn't rain enough for it to stay so wet. But nonetheless, I don't recommend going down there in your car. You'll get stuck. Then you'll have to hear the squealing. No, not from the pigs. Ben's. The man is blessed in the head. That one don't just come from me either. We all say it around here. I don't suppose a doctor has ever certified him insane or lacking chromosomes or whatever we call it these days, but there's no denying that he's a few fries short of a Happy Meal. Ain't nothing wrong with that, of course. Unless we're talking about general well-being. Anyways, the man crawls around like he's a pig, eats from the trough, rolls around in the mud, snorts and squeals, and did I mention, porks the pork? Gross, right? That's why I don't eat any of the meat from his farm. You can cook off a lot of nastiness, but at the end of the day, it's still sodomized bacon. I make a habit of not going to Ben's. Hell, I even speed up when I drive by. Not just because of the stories, but the smell, too. Pig shit. Pig corpse. And something sweet on top of it all. Peaches, I think. Pig, poop, and peaches. I'd planned on never setting foot on that godforsaken property, but that one day, my dad told me, Go on down to Ben's and pick up the pig Juan purchased. Now Juan is a Mexican fellow that works for my dad. Hard worker, good guy, but don't know shit about pig pen Ben. So I feel the need to enlighten him. Now I talked to Juan, who was standing next to my dad looking mighty grateful for something I hadn't even agreed to do yet, and said, Juan, them pigs been defiled. Juan cocked his head, because of course, defiled ain't in his vocabulary, and asked, You get pig? No, Juan, I won't get pig. Fucker looked heartbroken. Turned to my dad for confirmation, to which my dad looked back at me and barked, Yes, you are going to get the pig. But dad... I don't care what stories you heard about old Ben. Juan wants to treat the guys to a pig roast. Why didn't he just bring the pig with him after he bought it? He gave the money to Lyle over at the bar last night. Lyle. That's Ben's brother. He didn't live on the farm. Got himself a trailer down a ways, but still stops by the farm periodically to bring his brother groceries and whatnot. Lyle's a real shit show himself, but he ain't as bad as Ben, so most people prefer to go to him when they want a pig. I sighed. So, does that mean Lyle will meet me there? Dad nodded. Him and Juan arranged to meet in an hour. I don't see why Juan can't get the pig himself. And We got work to do. I sighed again. Fine, I'll go get the damn pig. My red Chevy pickup traveled down the muddy driveway with ease, and I realized had I owned a car instead, I wouldn't have been stuck with the task. I was immediately nauseous from the smell, even with the windows rolled up. Parked over by the house with Lyle's rusty old tin can of a truck, putting some of my worries to rest. I pulled up beside it and put my truck in park, and sat inside with it running. Lyle wasn't anywhere in sight. 
Damn it. I muttered. Where the hell is he? After waiting several more moments without seeing him, I shut off the truck and climbed out. My boots hit the mud with a splatter and sunk about an inch. The smell was even more overwhelming outside. I hesitantly took several sucking steps towards where the pigs were fenced and watched them chowing madly from the trough like they hadn't eaten in a week. Snorting and slurping. Whatever the pigs were eating, it sounded wet. And those sorts of noises accompanied by the god-awful smells that permeated through the farm made for a truly disgusting experience. But these pigs were frantic, like drug addicts getting their fix. I had to know what they were eating, so I walked around the fence to the other side of the trough and looked in. It was difficult to see past all the big porker heads, but I managed to catch a glimpse of what looked like ground beef. I grimaced. I know pigs will eat just about anything, but it's still unsettling to watch them eat meat. I walked along the fence, looking at the different pigs. Pink, black and white, brown. Most were hefty swine. Fat as fuck, I'd say. But as I walked along, staring at their large, muddy backs, I saw one that looked strange, in spots where there wasn't mud. I could see that its skin looked different from the others. It wasn't hairy. It wasn't pink. More like a suntan color. And its back arched in a strange way. More hunched. And with back muscles flexing as it ate. I leaned against the fence for a closer look. And then I realized what was so odd about this particular pig. It wasn't a pig at all. Oh, fuck. I gasped. Immediately, Ben looked up and made eye contact with me. Raw, bloody meat hanging from his teeth, dripping down his neck. In the trough laying atop the ground-up gore was an eyeball and clumps of hair and human toe. Ben squealed as I stumbled backward. Slipped in the mud and fell to my ass. He squealed again, then snorted several times, getting louder with each. I kicked along the ground and staggered back to my feet, and as I did so, Ben had leaped over the fence and was chasing after me. No longer on all fours like a pig, but moving like a man instead. Ben, stop! I cried as I slipped along the mud back towards the truck my boots coming off my feet in the process. He hit me from behind and tackled me to the ground and shoved my face into the mud. He mounted on my back, put his mouth to my ear, and began loudly squealing like a pig again. I flailed wildly, kicking the ground and elbowing Ben on the ribs, all to no success. I became worried that was it. That's how I was going to die. Face down in the mud with Pigpen Ben making barnyard noises in my ear. I was just about done in. When, all of a sudden, he pulled me up by the hair, dismounted me, and plopped me back down on the mud. I quickly rolled over and flung clumps of mud from my mouth and nose, then lay there gasping. You lucky. I wept mud from my eyes and looked up to see Ben standing over me. Daisy don't want you to die. He added, then looked over at a large female pig, who stood at the fence staring at me. Her snout and mouth were covered with blood and chunks of meat. She didn't like Lyle, though. Lyle tried to sell her. I didn't say a word. I crawled over to my truck, pulled myself up, flung myself inside, and fumbled with the keys. I finally got the truck started and hurried the hell out of there. Ben chewed as he watched me leave. Then as I reached the end of the driveway, he returned to his pig pen. <laughs>